We didn't know too much about this area in Newcastle when we came out here, but you know, we saw how chilled out it was and uh, we bought a house here. And it could be home life after football, hopefully. As we love it out here, don't we, Alfie? And you love your school. Juice. Ellen usually sorts Alfie out. So I just I roll in about a half an hour later and do my own and walk out the front door. A good base and a good structure and you know a loving family life. I think it it helps your football, you know, it all works together very well. As you see this morning, get up, have my breakfast, Alfie's going to school, he's happy. Have a good day at school. Okay. Good boy. A bit. See that. My wife is happy and you know I'm in good spirits going to training, so. Great day to be alive, eh? Growing up in Ireland, where I'm from, you know, working class lifestyle. It's a, it's a rougher upbringing. You know, you have to be, you have to be tough, and um, you have to kind of fight your corner. And I suppose the beauty for my son, growing up here in Australia, I think he gets to enjoy life that bit more. I think people here are great. I think as a country, you're, you're spoiled with, with, with beauty. And Newcastle is a growing, vibrant place. And yeah, we're, we're very lucky to, to have come over here when we did. We've been here a few years now and it seemed like the next logical step to uh, make it official. So, yeah, I suppose uh, we're very proud to, to be Australian citizens and, you know, no matter what happens now, you, you can't get rid of us. I like my car. Big Conor tool there's passing and you never know what he's capable of. He's but, talking about the stories. Like ah, absolutely. Yeah, stick, yeah. stick with me, lads, I'll make you money. It's perfect timing now. <laughs> was I'm a different kind of character uh, than a, a lot of the players that we have at the Jets. Um, and I suppose coming from a different background, coming from, from Ireland and, and playing overseas in England for a long period of my career, I suppose my experience is completely different to the young players that are coming through at Newcastle. So I think that helps everybody. My, my experience, I can pass on my knowledge and kind of mentor hopefully that that's a 21 as such we've got a lot of young players coming through a good day today was tuesday so we're a few days out from the game so physically it was quite a, a tough session today going for lunch now before we go to uh, the gym so we can have a quick bite get some energy before we uh, hit the gym in the afternoon it's just a beautiful place to be around isn't it on a day like today night so like this it's uh i think it's a spot that most people go to Obviously, like Roy said, the, the coastline's beautiful, but there's walking paths all the way along it. Um, on the weekend, it's packed down here, but we are blessed to, to be living here. It's, uh, it's a great part of the world. Usually, he's abusing me, and I have to just cop it. But uh, I know, look, I think as, as senior players, I, we've got a good relationship since I came in the door here. Now, he just made me feel welcome, and we've clicked very easily. Yeah, I think when life off the park as well with our families, everyone gets along. We're, we're able to spend time together and um, it's just easy and I think when when you have that relationship off the park then it's a lot easier to, to probably demand more out of each other on the park and, and drive each other because you, you kind of know what motivates each other. Similar to my background I, I feel Newcastle um, it is working class, hard working people you know they they appreciate you if you, you have a go especially on match day but uh, as you can see it's probably changing a little bit it's, it's become a little bit more affluent down here. There's a bit of money. It's you know million dollar mansions here looking over the water, but um, still the blue collar kind of um, fabric runs through the town. And as I said, have, have a go attitude, and, and they'll pat you on the back for that. Yeah, I, I'm very proud to, to be from here, and I think everyone who uh, who comes and ends up staying, which I reckon Roy, there's a good chance he will. We won't be able to get rid of him, but um, I think they they feel at home when they come here and. Let's be honest, what, what better place um, in the country to, to live, raise your family and uh, enjoy life. Unfortunately, didn't get to spend too long at the beach. Back to real life, back to the gym now here. Go and lift some houses on my back um, and then go collect my young lad Alfie from school. And that's a day in the life. Go on, Larry, do it for Malaysia. <laughs> See that fridge? Oh, I'm just gonna lift it. <laughs> Like that, Zeus. Uh, sometimes to get him over the line, I have to give him a bit of extra. Come on, Ali. Yes. Come on, commit yourself. Commit yourself. Have you got the hunger? Are you Polish? Are you Irish? 
Australia. Come on! Australia. Yes!